Rube Goldberg, design time at home. All right, we have done these twice in the classroom. Now you get to try this at home. Um, so here's a picture of a very simple one that somebody's done on their dining room table. You can see all kinds of objects they have found around their house. This is a Hot Wheels track right here. We've got some tennis balls, toilet paper tube, a toy car, a cutting board from the kitchen, some letter tiles, um, and they've used tape here. They've got some sort of container from the kitchen, it looks like. So all around your house, you have so many items. You have toys. You can find a toilet paper roll. You can find dominoes if you have them. If you don't have dominoes, you could use books. We did that in the class. See if you have playing cards in your house. And some of you have Lego. And a toy ball, maybe a bouncy ball or another kind of ball. Uh, something tall that you can use um, like this. Okay, so you have got I know you do. You have stuff in your house. So you're going to use uh, stuff in your house to make this Rube Goldberg. Okay? All right, the goal. The goal is to knock a tower over. So you have to construct some sort of tower. You could do like building blocks, playing cards, uh, Lego to build a tower. You could have fun building that tower as well. Uh, you can make a tower out of just about anything. You can use plastic containers that are used for storage in your mom's kitchen. Okay. The rules. Find a good building spot. Now, a bad building spot is on your mom's kitchen counter. Unless she gives you permission, but I doubt it. So, you don't want a building spot that's going to get in somebody's way. Okay, if there are little kids in your house, you want your building spot to be up high so they cannot touch it. If you have um, like a dresser in your room, in your bedroom, usually dressers are quite tall and little kids can't reach up there. Ask your mom if it's okay. Take all the stuff off your dresser and then you can use that. Okay, so find a good building spot where you can leave things set up and nobody's going to uh, touch it, especially... Uh, little little brothers and sisters number two take items with permission so don't go into your sister or your brother's room and take stuff for your rube goldberg because mrs ratzoff said you could no 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 you need to ask first before you take items that belong to other people in your house especially your mom if you're going in the kitchen to take stuff you need to ask first and explain what you're using it for Number three, clean up and return items to their proper spots. It's not your mom's job to clean up after you. It's not your dad's job to clean up after you. And think about where you're getting everything from and then make sure you take everything back to that spot. And just to add on to finding a good building spot, if you have a garage on your house, that might be a good spot where nobody else is going to touch stuff. Or if you have a deck, and uh, little kids or nobody else is going to wreck it out there that might be a good spot it's sunny for a few days so you could leave stuff set up out there or your backyard even okay hints to make a good rube goldberg use height and gravity when you build a tower of something tall books maybe or something else and then you have um, something coming down from it all you have to do is push that initial object and gravity will do the rest, okay? Use things that roll easily, a ball, toilet paper roll, if you have a round glue stick. Um, maybe ask your dad if he's willing to help you find some things. Use weird random objects. So here's a super challenge on the challenge to see how many weird random objects you can use. Can you use a spoon? Can you use a feather that you find in your backyard? What weird and random objects 
can you use in your Rube Goldberg? When you're finished, try your Rube Goldberg several times to make sure it works. Then, once you've got it working really well, take your phone or your iPad and video, and you can press, uh, remember how to do this. So you go into Fresh Grade, you look at Extra Activity, where these instructions are, you press that Upload button, it will give you the option to take video. Now the video cannot be more than three minutes long, otherwise it will not work, but these videos should only be around 10 or 20 seconds. They shouldn't last very long, okay? If you do not have that, if you have a computer or a laptop, I want you to write about it and tell me what you did in the comment box and tell me if your Rube Goldberg worked and tell me about some of the items that you use. So describe to me what you did. Okay, now this is literally a project that could take all weekend, or you could take an hour or two hours or a little bit of time and, and do it, okay? Um, try not to put people in your video. So then what I will do is if your video is just of your Rube Goldberg, I will try to post it for everyone else on FreshGrade to look at but I'm not gonna post it if there's a whole bunch of family members in your video. So try to take it just of the Rube Goldberg, okay? And then I can post it and put it up there on Fresh Grade for everyone uh, to enjoy and look at. Okay, have fun with that.